Do you know how large language models can teach you anything and how to build an app using RAG and LLM from the Hugging Face? So in this video, I am going to explain you all of this. Hey guys, welcome to Freebirds 2 and welcome to the fifth part of Learn RAG from Scratch series in which I am teaching you RAG from the basics to advanced level with projects. In this video, we are going to build a Gen 8 Touring System app that can use RAG and multiple large language models to answer your queries based on the context provided from the documents that we upload in the RAG database as well. And if you are new to RAG, don't worry, we'll walk through everything step by step. Okay, so let's get started. So before we dive into the code, let me give you a brief about what RAG is. Retrieval Argument Generation. It's a technique that combines the power of two AI processes. The first is called Retrieval. That means you search for the relevant document or relevant context based on the user query. And then there is called generation because that relevant context is used alongside the user query to generate a meaningful contextually accurate answer by using the large language model. So basically, we retrieve information from the database or the vector store and use that information to generate the answers. This is what makes RAG powerful. It combines retrieval and generation, ensuring that the model gives more accurate and context-specific responses. If you want to know more about RAG, you can watch my previous four videos in this playlist in which I explain all about the RAG and its components as well. Okay, so now, now let's talk about the large language models. A large language model is a model trained on a vast amount of text to, to generate coherent and contextually relevant text. Okay, and in this project, we are using the three large language models. The first is Quen, second is Microsoft Fi 2, and third is Mistral Nemo, that, that is a fine-tuned large language model. Okay, so now let me give you the project overview here with problem statement. So this project is a chatbot application that enables the users to ask questions and receive context-based answers. It uses RAG plus ChromaDB along with the large language model to generate the personalized responses. And users can use multiple large language models because it uses three LLMs there and it can choose the topics that they want to learn and along with they can reset and download the chat history as well and also view the model configuration and change the model configurations from the sidebar of this app as well okay so now let me show you the components of this app so first for the data pre-processing we'll be using uh, we will be using python and the langchain splitter or chunking strategies and for database we are using the Chroma DB and for the embedding model, we are using uh, open source hugging face embeddings. And for large language model, we are using the three LLMs. Okay. And for the external data, we are using RAG that builds the retrieval chain from the Chroma DB to LLM that provides the context. And then for the interface, we are using the Streamlit framework. Okay. Okay. So now let me tell you how this app looks like. Okay, so see, this is how the apps look like. It has multiple features in sidebar that can you can choose and use accordingly. And in the chat interface, you can ask your questions and it, it will keep saving them in the history as well. Okay, so now let's create this app. So let's dive into the code and break it down step by step. Our project use Streamlit, Langchain, ChromaDB and Hugging Face Transformers to create this whole app. Okay, the first thing is uh, setting up the libraries and environment as well. So we have all the libraries here that we use. We use Streamlit, Langchain, Torch, Transformers library and these are the things component that we use. And the folder structure will look like this. It has a text file folder that contain the uh, our uh, uploaded documents. From that, we will have to uh, get the RAG DB data. Okay, you see it has the small, small kind of uh, components here about every topic as well. Okay, and we have this Chroma DB folder that can store our Chroma DB here. Okay, so first, first thing we do here that uh, uh, we first define that where is our uh, text files are there that can help for our context as well. And then we initialize the embeddings here. And the embeddings are used for these text files. So these te text files are embedded and then store into the Chroma DB. So we initialize the embedding model and the vector store here and it will store in this Chroma DB folder. 
okay and then we make this kind of function this function do one thing it will take that text file and choose the recursive character text splitter that is a chunking strategy that i already discussed in my previous video you can watch that i will put in the i button okay and uh, that will take do one thing it will uh, take this kind of uh, one line and then try to uh, cut out the chunks a uh, character by character as well okay so in that way it will do the chunk size and chunk overlap and it will make all the documents this into the chunks and that chunks are then uh, like uh, added into the vector db with the embedding model as well so that their embeddings are easily stored in the vector store so mainly we are not storing this complete text there we are storing the text embeddings in the vector store okay so that's what we are doing here it first uh, make the text uh, splitter here it read the file and once it read the file it load the file and once it load the file it do use the text splitter to split the documents and then it add it to vector db okay okay now we have these three models that uh, the first is quen second is phi2 and third is mistral nemo okay we use all three these models you can use like any model you want to use okay and then for the our streamlit app as you just uh, see here that our streamlit app has these three models along with the multiple other features as well so you can use any model you want to use just click on that model and then click on the uh, topic here that you want to learn and it can uh, load that model automatically as well okay uh, so for that we first uh, uh, set our streamlit app here so we first check all the topics because the topics you want to learn you have to enter those kind of uh, uh, topics uh, here as well okay you enter the, your topics here and then it will it store in uh, this list as well okay and then we have to make a new topic that can enter topic and then it can uh, detect if the topic is changing or not if the topic change it will uh, make your uh, model change or make your model prompt change accordingly as well okay so that's why we need to store what topic we are learning here okay that's why we make a new topic kind of uh, variable here that can also check if the topic is changed or topic is not changed as well and whatever topics we are currently learning it can keeps on storing them as well on this app as well okay you see here the topic explored if you if you only learn let's say if i only learn about the python okay it will store that python topic right, right down under this topics explored uh, button here as well okay if i keep exploring more topics it will keep on storing there as well okay so that's what it is doing and then we use the select model button that use the same thing it will use this list to select a model and these are the like model configurations that we need to set that max tokens temperature along with the top p as well and uh, we have to use latest language if this works you can use if not you can uh, don't use it as well and then uh, we use these three files for our rag vector db but if you want to use multiple files and those files are directly from the app you can use it right down here you can uh, drag and drop here your file and it can work in the same way it can first store that file in the same kind of directory as well and then it can use this same function that uh, load and chunk your document and store in the vector db it can use the same function to store your that file into the vector db as well that's uh, what we are doing here okay and uh, this is our upload file button here that we build with the help of uh, streamlit ui and this is the rate uh, this is the rating button okay and these are the like flags that, that we need to check because we need these flags because whenever we need change uh something in this kind of uh, sidebar our model should not get run each time okay so it should run only once whenever we select a model there okay so it should load once and it should run only when we ask a question it should not run or load when we uh, change anything there so that's why i need to keep these flags as well okay and uh, this is the model show info button reset chat history is there and download chat history function is also there that can download your chat history in the text file as well okay 
and uh, this is the load model function that whenever a model name goes there and it can load that model for you because we are building a rag qa chain here so we need it into the uh, text generation pipeline of uh, form as well we put this query pipeline into and build our qa model okay so that qa model will help us in our retrieval qa chain and we pass that qa model here and pass our vector store also here as well so that build us the retrieval qa chain completely okay now now we build our stimulate ui with the help of this and it can like just write down this headings there and also put our ask a question user prompt here as well and you see that why i create those all kind of flags above so these all flags are used here as well if there is something in the user input and these flags are all uh, true only then this thing will get uh, run okay otherwise this thing will not get run so if i change something there okay then this flag will not run because i don't enter anything here yet or i change anything here yet as well okay and for that we first uh, get the uh, retrieved documents for the from the vector store by using the similarity search based on the user input and we make it a context and that context is directly passed into our prompt so here i write this prompt as well and here our topic goes that whatever topic you enter here that we pass down from uh, pass down from here as well the new topic it directly pass down here so that it will uh, sp specialized in that topic only and we get our context we get our question and it, it will generate the answer for us okay and that answer will be shown okay so that's how we build this whole kind of app now let me show you that how this app runs okay so first thing we select our topic here and i just write here what is python so when i click on enter this app will start in running you can see in this uh, terminal as well that the app is currently running here and it will show the answer right down here as well okay it will take some time to generate the answer because it is not a chat api that we are using it is a hugging face large language model here as well and the quen is a small language model that's why it takes less time to run but if we are using multiple other models it, it will take some more time to run as well okay and as you see that the answer is uh, coming down here so here so here the answer is completely here the python is a high level language developed by the guido and rosa minute 81 that's how it answers the question and if we change the topic here to machine learning let's change this into machine learning okay then you see this part will never run again only this part will run again okay see this answer this thing stays same but this uh, part changes here it add a new topic and now i can ask him what is machine learning as well okay you see i can ask him what is machine learning it can answer that question to me as well so as you see it gives the answer of machine learning as well it is a subset of uh, ai that enables machines to learn from and make decisions from based on the data okay that's how you would do it in the app and it all the chat history stores there and if you want to like drag and drop kind of document you can also drag and drop that as well to show the model info it can show the model info right down there just click on this button it will show you the model info if you want to reset it it can reset the chat history completely clean if you want to download it click on the download button it will download your chat history right down there download at txt so here you can see this, this is your chat history is there okay so that's how you can build this whole complete app and i hope you com completely learn that how you can build uh an ai powered app using the large language models and the rag as well and uh, in our next video we'll make two small projects one is chat with urls and other is chat with pdf documents and get insights from them same here there, we use google large language models and one from the hugging face open source large language models as well and build a streamlit ui for them as well and if you want to learn about prompt engineering, generative AI, machine learnings and data science, you can watch my videos on YouTube and also read my blogs on Medium. We'll meet in our next video. Thank guys. Thank you so much.